Hello friends, my name is Ariel Emil and welcome back to some more Toka Touring Car Championship. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play. This is episode 12, also known as the finale of our seasons. Round 23 and 24 take us to Silverstone in the dry. And this one kind of matters because between us, Jason Plato and the Honda driver is just 9 points. We are currently the championship leaders so we come in with the advantage. But it isn't a particularly amazing advantage to lead on, so yeah, uh, it is all coming to a head here at Silverstone. So we've got to hope for a good drive, good qualifying session, and yeah, just hope to do well. And well, hopefully we shall walk away with the 1997 British Touring Car uh, Champions Trophy thing. Yay. I'm assuming Renault probably has the Manufacturer's Cup at this point between me and Plato uh, battling it out. I'm sure we've got that one in the bag. Uh, but unfortunately this game does not have the Manufacturer's Cup. And I don't believe Toka 2 had that either. I believe it's only uh, Driver's Cup. In fact, I can't think of many games that do actually have like a full Manufacturer's Cup. It's, they mostly just focus on individual drivers. Which of course that does make sense. Uh, but... Yeah, uh, that is what most games do focus on. I, like I said, I really can't think of many things that do have manufacturers' cups these days. I sound like I'm concerned with it. To be honest with you, it's mostly just because ETCC had a manufacturers' cup, and that was a pretty good. Usually, the manufacturers' cup was more interesting than the actual drivers' rankings. Although, then again, ETCC was a pretty close fought season, I guess. And of course, uh, for those of you who don't know what ETCC is, maybe you're watching this. On HG Central, you can always pop over to my channel, which is the link in the description and all the rest of it, and uh, find out what the TCC was. It was a Forza Motorsport 6 racing series, and I've got uh, the recaps in their own little uh, playlist. Yeah, people enjoyed that. It's coming back uh, with Forza Motorsport 7, and that should be uh, a lot of fun because I can actually get a lot more people into that because with the game launching on PC, uh, it does open it up to a few more people I know, so yeah, hopefully uh, the second season of ETCC can be uh, a much more expansive season than the first, but yeah, the first season was still cool. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> very terrifying moment with the Renault Laguna there. I'm gonna go for two qualifying laps, see if I can set any better of a time. Uh, you know, I've spoke about this before. Qualifying in this game, it isn't completely pointless because it does get you up the field a little bit, but you really, it is pretty much physically impossible to uh, battle with any of the guys on the top spot, so your Platos and your Audi drivers and so on will usually set like ludicrously quick times, which just are completely unbeatable, so yeah. Uh, usually when it comes to qualifying, it's basically a case of just set the best time you possibly can. Uh, okay, 121.47 isn't too bad. I will take that. That will put us into 8th place. Our main rivals are Mr. Thompson in the Honda Record in front of us and Jason Plato who is on pole position. Uh, Jason Plato's not a particularly bad one to have as a rival uh, just because we sort of obviously know uh, what Plato is going to be doing and what car he's driving and so on. The Honda drivers, uh, not so much. They're pretty indistinguishable from one another. It's not even like the Voxels, where like one of the Voxels is white and one of them is red. Uh, and that makes things a lot easier. So, yeah, it is a strange old one. Try and sneak up the inside of all of those guys. I think that's probably the Honda driver we're not too bad with. The Volvo's taken out one of the braking boards but we are in fifth position over the last few corners not too bad pretty okay start as far as starts on this game goes of course I spoke about this before we're always gonna launch slow just because that's the nature of the automatic gearbox in this game uh, it really does not uh, treat you particularly well it wants to launch you in but what it does if you actually look at it on the starting grade is it basically launches you in first then it launches you in second uh, and then it goes back down to first when it realises, is, yeah, uh, it's a weird one. Anyways, we have all three sort of, I was about to say we have all three championship leaders towards the front, but uh, of course I'd have to go and cock that up. Oh god, I do not want to become part of that sandwich. Oh, Jesus. 
It's a lot of collisions going on back here. Alright, I don't want to be back here. I really don't want to be back here. Excellent, right. We're in fifth. That's fine. Four seconds to the Honda in front. Fifth isn't too bad. If there's nine points in it, we really could deal... I believe... Um, you know, we sort of need to be looking around first, seconds, thirds, maybe fourth we could get away with, but I don't think we can get, like, I don't think we can get away with two fourths unless, like, the Honda and the Renault trade wins, basically, uh, which they don't usually do. It looks like the Audi drivers are the one that's ran away towards the front. We come back to one of my least favourite corners on this track. I hate this corner. Just because I'm never sure where to brake for it. You either brake way too early or way too late and you'll plow into the back of the car in front of you. It looks like uh, Plato and Thompson are getting into a little bit of a rough and tumble. Uh, I believe I just saw Thompson go off the track. Not 100% sure though. Ooh, God, there we go. Alright, get around there. Alright, let's try and get around the Honda. That wasn't exactly the way I wanted to go around him, but that works, I guess. Uh, up into third position, which is not too shabby. I have got a lot of angry cars. Never mind, I see my Amazon package has arrived, which is good. I'm just buying another micro SD card because apparently I live off it. Well, I don't live off those things as much as. God, what do I order a lot of? Like HDMI cables and USB cables and stuff. I order a lot of cables. Uh, and I used to order a load of memory cards, but I've been using this PS3 since then, so yeah. I think some people have said PS using a PS2 for PS1 games is better. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really that fussed. <laughs> that was a bit of a dick move. I wasn't intentionally aiming on that, but it happened. Apparently they just go wide on that corner, which is a bit weird. But, uh, okay, fair enough. That's just what they do sometimes, apparently. Alright. Now we're up with, I believe this... I can't remember the name of this Audi driver. I believe someone corrected me. Uh, I was saying Bella. I believe it's Bela. I think someone said in the comment section. That might be the Audi driver. I don't know if that's the Audi driver or the Nissan driver. Uh, I would assume it's probably the Audi driver. Because the Audi drivers... I don't really have trouble with the Audis, per se. Uh, apparently he just had a bit of a weird collision on his own there. Uh, I don't really have uh, much trouble with the Audis, really. They're just sort of there. And they occasionally win the odd race uh, when we don't. But it's usually a good thing when they win the race. Because they stop... Uh, people like Plato and Thompson from getting on the top spot, so I can't complain that much about that. A bit of a weak uh, turn through that corner. Just got to basically watch my back, not make any stupid decisions, and it looks like we'll be hopefully able to walk away from this race with a lovely, lovely first place, which would be ideal, of course, because, yeah, if... Ooh, you twat. I don't know which Honda that is. I'm assuming it's probably Thompson. So we've got a Volvo up into fourth place, which is pretty cool. Plato's in fifth. Why don't you lot just have battle with each other? Battle with each other. Let me run away. Oh god, they're catching big time. I don't think this game has a catch up, but I could be wrong. Uh, judging, oh my god! I believe that's the Audi dead, uh, which is a bit of an issue for us, uh, unfortunately, because that does mean he's not going to be able to secure position number two, which is what I would have kind of liked uh, for him to do that. But uh, yeah, that Audi just got completely and utterly annihilated by the looks of it. So yeah, uh, sorry for you, my dearest friend. Uh, you tried. You you really tried. That's a much better angle through that corner. Apparently we're on for a little bit of a quicker lap now. I can't remember what I got in qualifying. Was it 121? 
Uh, I can actually race a little. To be honest with you, the weird thing with me is I'm actually usually quicker in racing situations than I am in hot lapping situations. Uh, just because, I don't know, your brain sort of switches off a little bit of your fear because you just want to maintain the top spot. It's a bit of a weird one, really. Uh, I'm assuming that's what it does. It's sort of like when you're hot lapping, you're sort of in fear of what the car's doing a little bit because you don't want to cock it up, but in a racing situation, you know, that sort of all goes out the window, adrenaline and all the rest of it. So, yeah, uh, it's a bit of a weird... I would say it's a personality quirk, but I imagine that's what it's like for most people. It actually looks like it could be a quicker lap time than that 120. Uh, or maybe not. Not too far off, though. We do seem to have uh, left the people fighting, which is good. I'm assuming it's probably going to be a, a Renault, Honda, Renault finish. Uh, by the looks of it out back there, because, yeah, that Audi, I don't think he's around. Thompson's going to secure second place. That will give us a little bit of a point advantage over him. Plato. Oh, God. That was a little bit too much. I'm sort of keep trying to check my rear view, seeing if those cars are in view. It doesn't look like they are, though. I thought that mistake would have cost me a little bit more, uh, but it didn't, thankfully. This mistake might cost me a little bit, though. Because they can be ridiculously... Through sort of turns like that, the AI are ridiculously quick. Through sort of the longer, more flowing turns, uh, I seem to be the quicker. So, it's a bit of a weird uh, situation there. This isn't going to be any quicker of a lap time, no. We're like seven seconds down on what we were previously, but... It still isn't too bad. Try and do a little bit of conservative driving. We have got enough of a lead to do so, don't make any silly mistakes, don't go onto the grass, don't really clip the curbs, and we're going to walk away with the win on round number 23. Excellent, excellent stuff. It just depends where everyone else finished now, really. Uh, Thompson came into second place, oh, got fifth, wow. Uh, and then, yeah, Beeler ended up in eighth after his magnificent collision, so... Yeah, that's uh, pretty intense. So, really, it is all about the Hondas now. Um, I assume I have about a 12-point advantage over Thompson now. Uh, which, mm, I still want third or higher, but... Yeah, uh, winning that first round has taken a little bit of the heat off, which is good. Uh, and that will secure us some vital, vital points. Of course, though, whatever happens, happens. Whether we win or lose, it is what's going to happen now. So, yeah, it's uh, all exciting, all to play for, all the rest of it. We're going to see what time we can set in the qualifying, and we'll get straight into the Rassin. Try and break into there. That was smooth-ish. <laughs> A little bit of an issue on the way out, but nevertheless... Not too terrible. Right. Let's come on down here. Just tapping that steering, trying to keep the car composed. Keep the car level. All the rest of it. Ooh, God. There we go. Nicely, nicely does it. I don't think this is going to be a hugely quick lap. Especially not if I decide to go for a uh, off-road terrain expedition thing, I don't know, uh, <laughs> right, 125, that's a terrible time, we need to get at least the 120 to really make this count, oh god, there we go, I'm actually kind of glad we don't start on pole position half the time, because again, qualifying, because of the way the auto gearbox works, because I am using auto, just because I can't hear the game at all, um, and... Yeah, I mean, it, it's an old manual gearbox, which in these games, most of the times the autos were quicker uh, back in these days. Even though it is a very sort of simplistic auto box, it basically is one of those that does car reach red line, change gear, does car dip below red line, change gear, one of those ones. It's not the best system in the world, uh, but 
you know, in a game like this where you don't really get too much in the way of wheel spin or anything, it isn't too bad. In like Gran Turismo 2 or something, with some of the more like wheel spin heavy cars, then yeah, I definitely recommend not using it, but you know, in a game like this it doesn't really matter too much, so. That's why I decided to use the auto box that, and I'm always too focused on trying to keep the car going in a straight line, uh, which is actually quite difficult in this game, so yeah. That's another reason for that. A 12205, that'll do us. I don't think that's... Uh, okay, so we're in 8th again. Plato's on pole, Thompson's in 2nd. So, there we go. We are, unfortunately, in the mid-pack, which is a little bit of an issue because these guys like to go in for a little bit of a bump and swerve. I really want to be out here. Do not take the inside lines into corners because the AI will take you out. But then again, you've also got to rely on the AI not taking each other out uh, to go around the wider corners. So we are around there. The Peugeot driver. Oh god, I made that was a terrible decision on my behalf. There we go. Had to recover that up quick. I uh, moved out the way of the Peugeot and gave him a little bit too much room. And then, of course, as soon as you hit the grass in this game, it really is a case of. Do not make any sudden movements or else y your car's just going to go around. So basically to save the car I had to uh, go for a little bit of an evasive manoeuvre. Not too bad though. Oh my god. So we're up into 10th place. Phone's going mental, don't know why, probably stupid people. Doing stupid thing on Discord by the looks of it, because the orange light is lighting up. Oh my god, Primera is going round. That's not good. There is a Honda down here. There was a Honda down here. I have no idea which Honda that is. Peugeot has gone off. Alright. Up into 7th position. Is that one on Primera's? Oh god! The Honda was looking for some revenge there and uh, instantly got uh, karma'd. I don't know if it's really karma considering he's uh, he was the one who I legitimately wronged, but I'm not going to complain too much. Volvo looks like it's taken a bit of an expedition off-road. Field seems to be a little bit more spread out in this race though, uh, which is a little bit of a shame. Hopefully Plato is... Actually, that's a point. Plato, I know we've had our differences in this season, my friend, but just hold off the Honda. That's all you have to do. Just hold off that Honda. Win this for Team Renault. I know you really don't like helping your teammates, Jason Plato, although admittedly... Uh, well, actually, with Ash Sutton, he sort of did and sort of didn't. He tried to be sneaky and got dicked. But, uh, yeah. Actually, no, he didn't get dicked. He dicked Sutton. Yeah, I know you really don't like your teammates, Plato, but listen, you've, you've just got to gotta do what you've wanted to do since the start of this game. Just win. That's all I need you to do. Just, just win. This is like the Plato meal truce. Truce agreement. agreement. The United Renaults need to unite. Renault's United at last. I'm just coming up with f phrases I can use for the title of this video now, aren't I? A 122.87, that's not good enough. Although we are slowly catching up to the Audi A4, probably Beeler, I'd imagine. Ooh, oh, we're having some bounces. It's not good. It's not good. Ooh. So we got a Volvo up here. We got an Audi. So it's basically both Volvos and an Audi, and they're all battling. Like I said before, the legitimately, I can just sit in third place. Like, I don't really have to take any unnecessary risks or anything in this race now. If I can get the position off these two guys, and if they're battling, uh, we know what the Toku AI is like. <laughs> very, very reckless, so if they take each other out, uh, we might be in for a bit of a treat here, and as we know, that Volvo driver is very, very aggressive. Uh, the Audis, not so much. The Audis are quite a passive uh, bunch. They just sort of get on with the job, and I quite like racing against them. This Volvo, as much as I love the Volvo S40, it's an awesome car, and as much as I love Volvos and touring cars and all the rest of it, 
Yeah. Uh, oh my god, Primera? Where the hell did you come from? You see, that's also a worry because the Nissan Primera driver is a complete and utter twat as well. I've got to get him out of my way. Please don't insta-karma me, please don't insta-karma me, thank you. I'm really sorry to that Nissan Primera, but I literally, basically, anyone's AI who I do not trust, I'm going to have to get them out of the way, basically. <laughs> Volvo, I do not trust you. Ooh, okay. Is that the other Volvo? I am in a Volvo sandwich. That is not a good thing, but... Well, usually it would be a very good thing. I love me Volvos, but yeah, that, that's not quite a good thing, but... The one good thing is the Volvos are actually starting to do something in this suit. I think the Volvos have actually been placing pretty well. I'm sure one of them's probably in the championship spot. Right, they're both together now. Hopefully they'll have their little uh, battle. Now back to the original point of this episode, which was to catch the Audi drivers. Hopefully catch the Audi drivers, that is. Because a fifth is fifth. Usually, I'd be really happy with a fifth, but I don't know if fifth's enough. So yeah. Also, those Volvos are really—they're uh, really starting to irk me a bit. I don't like having—I really don't like having Volvos on my tail in this game, just because they really cause issues if you like them. It, and yeah, we've seen before with the Nissan Primera and the Peugeots actually, sort of the Volvos, the Primeras and the Peugeots are all big issues in this game. They're really, really big issues. You do not want to mess with any of those cars in this game. Um, like I said, Audi's not too bad, which we're actually catching onto those guys. I will say the one thing for this game, as much as I've had issues with it and been up and down with it and so on, this final race is so intense. I've never felt anything quite like this for a long time, where it's basically just like trying desperately to just claw to keep my uh, my championship dreams alive. Alright, we got one more lap. I would like to get rid of another Audi in that lap. Oh boy, here we go. Final lap. Two seconds to the Audi in front. Volvo's behind. Try not to smash into the pit wall because that really would not end well. Alright, we're coming up to this good section here. We are good for this section. We are quick, we are good for this section. Went on the brakes a little bit too harshly, that might allow some Volvo some leeway. Alright. The next place really is my only uh, sort of overtaking opportunity on this track, just because I'm terrible everywhere else. That wasn't too terrible. Volvos are closing. Can I get out of 5th place? I would love 4th place right now. 4th place would be excellent. But, uh... Ooh. I can see the rear end of the Audi. I just don't think I can do it. Can't. I'm not close enough. I'm just not close enough to capitalise on the rear end of that Audi. No! No! <laughs> no, don't you dare! Don't you fucking dare! Ah, uh, fifth place. Alright, hopefully that's enough. Please tell me Plato held on to the lead. No! <laughs> oh, no! Come on, then. How are we done? <gasps> yes! Oh! <laughs> uh, three points! Three fucking points, but we did it! Oh, my God! Oh my god. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh. Ah. Jesus, if we had dropped that point, 
If we had dropped sixth place, that would have been it. If that Volvo had gotten around us or spun it out or something, that would have been it. That, that like, would have been dead to us. But, uh... Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. There we go. There's an Audi A4. That's not us. That looks like two Audi drivers, to be honest with you. Whew. Oh my god. That right there, that's probably the most intense end to a Let's Play I have ever experienced. Oh my god. I can't get over- oh my- my heart is actually racing right now. That is... ridiculous. Uh, oh, they've actually got different people to voice different areas, that's cool. So, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's almost it for Toka Touring Car Championship. We have one more thing we need to do in this game. Um, not- well, we don't need one to do one more thing, but, uh, of course, uh, there is one more thing I'd like to show off and everything else in this game. Um, but as far as this championship goes, that is the end. Uh, like I said, we've had ups, we've had downs, but honestly, that's just been... For that payoff at the end, it's all been worth it. It really has all been worth it. Uh, so, of course, uh, I want to say a bit... Uh, hey, look, it's an Audi. Uh, that's sort of what I was staring at towards the end of this race. Yeah, um, I do want to say, there we go, round 24, 263 points, there we go, and then we end up on the start screen, ooh, what's that? Never mind, this might not be the final bit, I didn't know this was a thing. Join us next time when we take a look at whatever the Toka showdown is. So a bit of a update after the credits. I've actually found out what Toka Showdown is. Basically what this is, is it is uh, basically the championship mode, but all of the tracks are reversed. Now, I don't really see the point of doing that, really. Uh, I don't think it will really add much to the game, so I'm probably just going to uh, leave it and continue on with what I plan to be the final episode. Some of you might have an idea of what I'm going to be doing, but... Uh, yeah, considering I cut my celebration short for it, I may as well use this time to just mention a few more things. Thank you all very, very much for watching uh, this Let's Play Your Words of Encouragement and all the rest of it. But my biggest thank you has to, do, of course, go to HD Central for allowing me to post uh, this Let's Play on over there. Um, yeah, if you're watching it over there, then thank you for watching this, uh, and I apologise for my inconsistencies. If you don't, if you do want to uh, come down below uh, and uh, check out my channel, it is in the description. Um, you, you know, you might find something you like. I don't know. Uh, it's something you can do if you want to do it. But uh, yeah, that is uh, that's it for the main bulk of this game. But like I said, there is one more episode we have to do. Let's. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm sure we'll get into that next time. Thank you all very much for watching. Farewell.